Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I like to nerd out to the science behind how we can keep our houseplants happy and to multiply them in our homes. So if you're into that kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel and send me likes. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an experiment on fertilizing. So um, over here, I have a pot that I've actually potted up because I'm doing the experiment with other uh, types of nutrients such as the vitamin B1 and the growth hormone. But in today's episode, I'm going to discuss purely um, plants that are given f nutrients and plants that are given no nutrients at all. So these are actually rooted cuttings of skindapsis and they were rooted at the same exact time. There's no nutrient in the water and I actually chose the group. Uh, there's two cuttings in each group and I chose them uh, based on leaf size and also the root development so to make sure that I'm not biased. I'm going to put on the screen to show you what the, the two roots look like naked because this one's already potted up. So I'm going to pot this up and then uh, this potting mix is actually my general purpose uh, along with that one except this one had worm casting in it and I'm also going to be uh, adding a little bit of slow release fertilizer while this one will not have any fertilizer at all. This one just does not have any worm casting in it. So this is pretty much devoid of nutrients because it's made of cocoa peat, burnt rice hull and just perlite. So those contain no nutrients that's going to benefit the plants in growing. And of course, I'm going to be growing these indoors uh, so they're away from rainwater because rainwater also contains nutrients. So yeah, I'm going to actually pour this out a bit. It's very full. Uh, I'm going to start potting these up. And then I'm just going to uh, be visiting these in a few uh, months time to see how they're doing. And the aim of this experiment is one, to entertain you guys because I thought it would be hilarious to see what plants look like when they're grown with no nutrients or maybe I'm just going to be surprised maybe they're just going to do it just as well I don't know but uh, we will see all right let's check in on these guys this is exactly two months after the experiment began so this is the one that is without any nutrients without any f fertilizer at all there's not even worm casting nothing is happening in fact the leaf looks a little bit yellow so nothing is growing i do see a little bit of a bud going on here so here is the one that was given fertilizer it's got worm casting in there it's got slow release fertilizer and i do put in some chemical fertilizer very very diluted whenever i water this plant i do see some fungus gnats uh, flying around this plant needs a lot more watering than that one because that one's not so thirsty the potting mix is wet for a longer period of time and of course this one is a little bit more infested with fungus gnats because i guess there's nutrients in there so this one has put out one leaf well maybe not fully it's just unrolling so let me see and this one is also still soft so this is the first leaf that is put out so in other words they're putting out the first leaf that is on the way to opening up. So it's three and a half months since we potted these plants up. I guess the difference is night and day. This uh, here is the, the one that's grown in no nutrients at all. And this other one was the control group that is grown in some fertilizer. They're kept in the same light. Actually, I noticed that these would be watered every 10 days or so in the beginning. But then this one, as it grew, it became more and more thirsty and I would have to water it every two days now. So you can see the potting mix is really bone dry. So let me quickly take it out of the pot also to just check the roots. By the way, I don't want this video to be a green light for everyone to just start blasting their plants with fertilizer. I do dilute my fertilizer. In case you haven't seen my fertilizer video, do check that out. I go through the details with you guys. So it does have some very seriously healthy roots on these guys. And they're just putting out the first, first vine in 14 weeks. So that's three and a half months. So this is super slow and I don't think it's gonna make it, I, d I think. But let's look at the one that was uh, in control group. Huh. I'm surprised okay the roots this is obviously a little bit more roots but not as that much more than the other one but yeah this is actually very root bound and looking it's looking so beautiful so i do recommend for you guys to fertilize your plants lightly and frequently where possible and whether you use natural means or chemical means but yeah your plants absolutely need it to thrive so thank you so much for watching this video. I'm at Botanist on Instagram. If you want to DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagations, I'll try my best to get back to you. Meanwhile, do take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next video.
Bye.